Rapture is the tenth episode of the fifth season of the television science fiction program series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. It is the 108th episode overall and the first to feature the new film-style Starfleet uniform following on from Star Trek – First Contact, which had just been released a month before this episode aired. The crew on Star Trek – Voyager continued to use the original DS9 uniforms as they are stuck in the Delta Quadrant. Sisko becomes obsessed with an ancient Bajoran stone, meanwhile Cassidy Yates guest star Penny Johnson returns and the station prepares for a political ceremony. This episode also guest stars Ernest Perry Jr. as Federation Admiral Whatley and Louise Fletcher returns as Bior mystic Kai Wynn. Rapture. Premiered to by 5.8 million people. Topic. Plot. When Sisko sees a painting, returned by the Kardashians, depicting Bahala, Bayor's legendary lost city, he is inspired to search for the famed site. The painting depicts an obelisk that, according to legend, marked the city's coordinates in the universe. Sisko studies the visible markings, then recreates the obelisk in the holosuite to try to determine what the hidden markings might be. After working until 3 in the morning, he tries to save his work, but the hollow suite system shorts and knocks him unconscious. In the infirmary, Bashir tells Sisko his brain has been overloaded, and his senses will be enhanced for a few days. The doctor lets him go, but warns him to return if he experiences any side effects. That night, during dinner, Sisko absentmindedly cuts his fruit into a series of shapes, then realizes that they are the missing markings from the obelisk. He returns to the hollow suite, but is interrupted by a call from Admiral Whatley. Bayor has been accepted into the Federation, and the signing ceremony will be held on Deep Space Nine. Back in the hollow suite, Sisko has a vision that he is in Bahala. During the vision, he briefly understands all of Bayor's history and can see its future. Afterwards, he continues to study the obelisk, and just as he determines where Bahala should be located, Cassidy Yates, his old girlfriend, returns from prison. He invites her to accompany him to Bayor immediately, and, thrilled to be accepted back into his life, she agrees. On Bayor, Sisko is stricken with a painful headache. He ignores it, and soon finds the lost city of Bahala. The Bajorans regard Sisko's discovery as a miracle and, for the skeptics, confirmation that he is the emissary. Admiral Whatley, however, is more concerned that Sisko devote his energy to Bayor's admission into the Federation. He visits Sisko at the site on Bayor and asks him to come home. Sisko begs for more time, sensing that the lost city holds answers to some important questions. Reluctantly, the Admiral agrees provided Sisko submit to a physical when he returns. When Sisko gets home, he seems to have psychic powers. Unfortunately, his headaches are getting worse. Bashir determines that Sisko's headaches are life-threatening and asks to operate immediately. Sisko refuses, unwilling to put a stop to the visions. Jake and Cassidy are crushed, but Sisko is determined to see his visions through. He asks Kai Wynn to help him consult the Orb of Prophecy, and while he sits with the powerful orb, the ceremony admitting Bayor to the Federation is put on hold. An angry Admiral Whatley finally begins the ceremony without Sisko, and the captain suddenly appears, weak and in obvious pain. He warns the assembled that if Bayor joins the Federation now, it will be destroyed by locusts. Sisko is then rushed to the infirmary, where Bashir grimly reports that he must operate immediately to save his life. Since Sisko himself refused the operation, Jake, as the next of kin, must decide his father's fate. Unwilling to let his father die, Jake goes against Sisko's wishes and permits the operation. Sisko awakens to anguish at the loss of his visions. However, he was able to convince the Bajorans to put their admission to the Federation on hold. Admiral Whatley is unhappy, but knows that any attempt to punish Sisko may drive the Bajorans even further away. Sisko tells him he's certain Bayor will join the Federation one day. Cassidy gently reminds Sisko that while he has lost something very important to him, what he saved his life with his son is even more precious. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Arc significance. Cassidy Yates returns from six months in Federation prison, her imprisonment having happened in For the Cause. Topic. See also Star Trek uniforms Archaeology